Hey, what's up, Vikings? Welcome back to another video. One of the questions that I've been asked what feels like over a thousand times, especially over TikTok, is uh, where did I buy all the pieces for my uh, cosplay? So I thought I'd make a very quick, simple video. I'll link everything down below if you want to check it out yourself. And I'll also give you like a 20 second, very quick review of all the stuff. So without further ado, let's jump straight on into goodies. All right, so first up, we have the shield that I got like a week ago. I am extremely happy with it. It looks perfect. It's the right size. It looks battle-worn like I ordered. The metal around the sides is actually leather and not real metal. The pattern that they made on it looks great. The red color is perfect. The leather strap that I ordered on the back, it fits perfect. I mean, everything about the, the, the shield is perfect. The details are great. Also, the seller over at Etsy was extremely quick with getting the shield ship. It took a couple of weeks, I think, but that's because it's from the States and I live in Norway. So, you know, shipping will take time regardless. It's some of the best $600 I've spent in a while. So, I definitely recommend. All right, so next up is the sword unfortunately i cannot link it anywhere because i bought it at a viking festival so you know i don't know who made it it was in a, a little tent uh but i'm extremely happy with it the details are nice however the sword belt that i bought is also from etsy Ship the shipment was insane they literally sent it the day after it arrived like three or four days later um perfect quality good quality nice I don't know. Nothing else to say. Buy it if you need one. All right. So next up is the main cosplay itself. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, so I can't really vouch for the uh, longevity of the clothes themselves. But I will say this. It feels well done. It feels solid. It does not feel like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. So I feel like it's well worth the money that I invested into it. The colors are nice. The fitment is nice. It didn't really allow you to choose sizes. So if you're five foot eight like me, it might be a little bit big. You might have to do some adjustments yourself. But if you're like six foot, six foot two it's gonna fit absolutely perfect now the people who sold it they were extremely extremely fast with shipping it out i think they also shipped it out within the first day or two and they also answered any questions that i had about the shipment uh, and the delivery or anything like that so if you want to invest into like a fantasy viking vibe that i'm going for myself then i would definitely definitely recommend this cosplay it's good good quality at least for two weeks so you know take it with a grain of salt if you want all right so next up is the larp hood that i'm actually wearing right now i am very happy with it it looks great i will say this though the hood on the back is kind of big it looks cool don't get me wrong but it will make the pelt itself kind of back heavy so i find myself a lot of times having to like pull it forward because the the, the thing here just slides up and it kind of strangles me a bit it also looks well done is what i uh, was looking for in terms of like a kind of fantasy pelt hood thing so i'm happy with with it they shipped it fast as well i have no complaints about the sellers themselves the thing might be a bit back heavy but other than that it is the perfect larp hood for your viking cosplay now next up is the two leather braces that i bought i think they shipped from spain so the shipping uh, took a little bit longer but i will say this they shipped it quickly i'm happy with the quality on the bracers themselves they might be a bit small because i was intending on just using it like this but with the new cosplay it's a lot thicker so i might have to have to do some adjustment with them for what i bought i got what i bought okay i bought the medium so you know it's kind of my fault but the price is very very fair i like the quality of them they feel good and they're affordable so if you need some affordable leather braces then uh, definitely go down below and check them out now the little uh, chain mail thing you see on the side is actually bought from nowhere my girlfriend made it with some steel wire so i like the detail they added i mean, I mean it kind of doesn't make too much sense to just have a little piece of chain mail but i just felt like it added some more detail to the cosplay so if you want to get one yourself uh uh, contact her on instagram maybe she'll make you one if you're uh, if you're lucky now the black tunic you might see in some of the uh, cosplay videos is actually an old tunic that i have i'll also link that down below it's kind of expensive it's from in the region stores i'm not sure if you can uh, order it to other countries but um yeah i'll link it down below it's good quality i've had it for two years I've, I've used it for my streams maybe four to five times a week for four to five hours at a time and it still holds up it has not like you know broken down or anything i also use it out in the wood it's well worth the uh, 60 dollars that i spent on it so definitely recommend if you're norwegian check it out down below now these shoes i know last video that i made like these i also had the same shoes and i was bashing the quality i said they were shit they were not worth it i think they cost me like 250 dollars in retrospect looking at prices for other leather shoes is actually not that bad and also 
although the sole may be really, really shit and uncomfortable, the shoes have held up surprisingly well. Like, they kind of broke down for the first week or two, but after that, the last, like, two years that I've used them, they have not broken down anymore. So if you need some cool-looking boots, I can recommend them. I just keep it with a grain of salt that they are not comfortable walking for more than, like, you know, an hour or two. Uh, there's literally no sole on them. And especially if you're out in the winter, like I've been a couple of times, they are freezing i'm telling you there's nothing there there's no padding there's nothing but yeah i'll link it down below as well so if you check them out they're there for you to uh devour now next up the precious mjolnir that i'm wearing around my neck almost all of the time i don't know where i bought it because i stole it from my brother i was like hey yo can i can i borrow that and he said yes and i borrowed it for the the last three years so i don't know i'm sorry check it out there might be someone at sea you can you can get for a good price all right so the last thing that i'm not really included in my newest cosplay yet but i will during winter time is the pel but i won't already done a review of it in the last video so check it out i'll link it down below as well i'll also link the pelt down below um so check it out if you want it's good it's it lasted me for a couple of years and it's not falling apart so i can recommend it's good quality it looks nice at least on the outside not on the inside looks kind of shit all right so that was my entire cosplay of 2022 maybe 2023 we'll uh, come back with another one uh if you enjoyed make sure you leave that like button don't leave it actually actually smash it smash it real hard also hit that subscribe button follow me on all the platforms i stream four times a week over at twitch so if you want more viking vibes you know where to find us also tiktok twitter instagram we are everywhere you're never safe okay the vikings are taking over once again i'll see y'all in the next one. Vikings. Tell Valhalla.